What's going on everybody? This is Richard with Pandemic Fishing. Um, just so you guys know, I'm new to all this. I'm new. I've been fishing for decades, you know, as a little kid, but boat owner and really getting into different type of techniques and stuff. I'm not an expert, but I've been learning and uh, I try to kind of expand and, 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 and tell people some of the things that I've learned and before from some of those questions that I get. And one of the questions that I get is if we're trolling and I've got three or four people on the boat, let's just say three, right? How you avoid crossed lines and tangles on your poles, okay? That's kind of important because um, I've learned that when you've got three people on the boat or more and they're fishing you've got i got six pole holders out here you got six lines out you can't have a favorite spot you can't have a favorite spot you can have a favorite side but not a favorite spot and here's what i'm going to tell you why because when you're trolling and you've got lines out depending on which way the, the, the boat is drifting or moving right the lines may be like this like this and if they're like this and this pole got a hit and I cast it out straight well I've crossed these two lines and now who knows what's gonna happen and we're out there fishing and the lines are all crossed up and then you wonder why when you pull up you've been out drifting for an hour on a drift and your lines have been snagged the whole time there's a way to avoid that is the fact that there's a sequence cast out go here. these two out in the front out in the front always go out the farthest they always go out the farthest if you're let's say you're drifting for catfish 200 250 feet some people go even farther right depending on the water depth all right so these two go straight out they're the, they're, they're the farthest out all the time that's the rule okay your next poles that go out would be this pole and this pole right but if you're going down that pole gets cast out here and it's going to come back like this right same thing for this one it's going to come back like this you cast out here it's going to come back like this now you want to leave it shorter than those because this line is here it goes underneath right depending on how it's going to move same side it goes underneath okay so now you got these two out these two a little shorter then come these two out now they can be a little shorter than these two because if it does they'll miss each other so if you're out 300 feet here you can be out 150 feet 200 feet here you can be out 150 feet there on both sides right so here's where it gets tricky if this pole gets hit and gets a fish right hopefully hopefully the fish is huge and you have to pull them in but if you don't you pull that fish in here right well, some guys, they want that spot back. Well, that's not realistic when you're trolling like this. This pole comes here, let out line. Now it's 150, 300 feet out like the other one. This one, this one comes here. You let out some more line. Now it's the same height as the other one. That fish that got caught gets rebated, goes out here, and he's out the shortest on that side same thing on this side that way your lines always stay in rotation as you get a fish right if this line gets a hit then not have to worry about it if this bobby gets a hit well then he comes up fish comes out that one goes here the new fish and bait go here out back so all your lines stay untangled now if you get a snag out there if you're drifting you hit a rock or you get a pull up well the best thing to do Everybody comes up, you either back up, turn around and go get your thing, and then you start the rotation again. Um, but I've learned that is the easiest way to avoid snags when you're trolling. And I know guys get locked in to the pole position. And if that line is still out and you get a hit there, you can't go back in that spot. It's just not gonna work. And you're gonna and you're gonna pull this up when it's time to restart your drift. And guess what? You're gonna have that line and you're gonna have that one all tangled together, and then you're gonna have to cut stuff, and then of course you're gonna be upset. So, in order to avoid all of that, rotate your lines as they get a pitch. Oh, 
that's my tip for you guys. Hopefully it helps somebody. And uh, we'll see you on the water. Tight lines.